Feast your eyes on a familiar setting, the bride's room. Recognize the usual suspects, the attentive bridesmaids, the relieved mother of the bride, the radiant bride, and the flower girl who dreams of the day when she'll be holding the bouquet. Then there's me. Who is this mystery woman with a cushion full of pins? I'm Lauren Crandall, and I'm a junior wedding consultant. Junior meaning that my boss barks the orders. Well, I do the work. I'm a seamstress, a gopher, an assistant, you name it. Whatever it takes to make sure that everything will be perfect on that big day. And although you might not believe me, everything typically does work out. Well, most of the time. Weddings, by their very nature, are fraught with peril. That's why you need me. On your big day, it's my job to take care of anything that goes wrong. I worry for you. I troubleshoot, problem solve, and on occasion, work miracles. Your turn. Don't forget to smile. Having helped to plan in excess of 100 weddings, I've come to realize that there are a set of unspoken rules that every wedding consultant should know. Rule number one, do the work and never take the credit. Let the bride and groom feel responsible for their perfect day. Helping them achieve their dream makes it all worthwhile. Hello. Oh, hi, yeah. I called about booking a band on October 10th, and the bride and groom would love someone who can do both rock and polka. Uh-huh. Can you hang on one second? Okay. Hello, tying the knot. Oh, hi, Barbara. Thanks. Gosh, you know what? I'm so sorry that you got in a fight with your maid of honor, but you know what? Your wedding isn't until 2007. So I'm sure you guys will make up by then. Here you go, miss. No, I don't think you need to get a backup. No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call you as soon as I can. All right, thanks, bye-bye. Hi, okay, uh, sorry about that. Where were we? Lauren, get in here. Um, actually, you know what? I'm so sorry to do this, I have to call you back. All right, bye-bye. Yes? You're never going to believe what happened. What? We just landed Darla Tadansky's wedding. Who's... Darla Tadansky. The Sausage King's daughter. That's great. No, it's not great. It's monumental. 
It's going to be the most high-profile wedding in Chicago. Do you know what that means? Uh, long work days and virtually no sleep. It means a guaranteed cover story in Bride's Day. Imagine the publicity. Anyway, don't think I forgot about you, Missy. If everything goes off without a hitch, you'll get that promotion we talked about. Are you serious? Dead serious. Lauren Crandall, senior consultant. Your own accounts, your own assistant, and of course a raise. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. That interviewer will be here in 10 minutes. You need to prepare. I'm on it. Bride's Day is my favorite magazine. Especially when I'm profiled in it. <laughs> oh, careful, dear. That china is worth more than your salary. The cranberry scone? I made them myself. Didn't mommy Snickers? You run your own business and still find time to bake. I don't know how you do it. I do. What was that, dear? Oh, nothing, G. I was just uh, thinking out loud about the flowers for the Hanscom wedding. Well, what's there to think about? The bride wants gardenias. But uh, gardenias are out of season. We could ship from California, but then we'd go over budget. I think lilies are a nice alternative. Are you a consultant, too? A junior consultant. She does a little planning here and there, but it wouldn't be a Jennifer Douglas production if I didn't do the grunt work. I'll be at my desk if you need me. Now, where were we? I was telling you about the Tadansky wedding. Oh, that's right. I must say, that's quite an undertaking for two people. Correction, dear. One person. My recently separated assistant is a little too emotional to be handling this big of an event. It's a very sad situation. Just for the record, I am not too emotional. Rule number two. A professional never lets her personal life get in the way of her work. I was separated over a year ago, and considering that my husband cheated on me, it was the best thing that could have happened. And although my marriage didn't work out, I still wholeheartedly believe in the sanctity of the institution. Snickers! My first step towards that promotion was a meeting with the new client, Darla Tadansky. She desperately wanted to come, but something came up. Translation, she was having a mommy and me portrait taken with Snickers. Excuse me. Hey, doll, are you the Zen Energy Bar rep? No, actually, I'm here to meet Darla. I'm the wedding planner. <gasps> You're Lauren? Kisses? Mm. Mm. Aren't you yummy? Hang on a sec, I'll fetch boss lady. So, here I am waiting for the pork princess to arrive. I wonder if she looks like her father. Okay, so, Darla didn't look anything like a pork king's daughter. You must be Lauren. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. Likewise. So tell me, how long have you been G's assistant? Uh, three years. Oh, that's commendable. I don't know what I'd do if I had to work under someone. What exactly do you do? Oh, I run my own advertising agency. Talk about stressful. <laughs> anyway, enough about me. G tells me you're flawless with detail. My therapist calls it obsessive compulsive disorder. Well, that's a good thing. I mean, considering the wedding's in a month. A, a month? Yeah, we were working with another planner, but we just kept putting heads. So, oh, here is our file from the last consultant. It includes my likes and my dislikes, all the way down to which shoes I think the flower girl should wear. Sorry to interrupt. Yogi Brittany aggravated oh, her sciatica. Oh, my God. I told you no lotus position, Brittany. I gotta go. If you have any questions, please ring Mark. Lauren, good luck. Oh, God. Brittany. Brittany. Mark. Mark. He's fine. It's here. The problem. Can we get some ice or an ambulance? Why is everyone not doing anything? Mark. Yes. Please. Why do I hire you people? After spending the entire night color coding Darla's file, I fixed one messy situation, only to crash headfirst into another. The Sea Briannis. 
a nice Italian couple from the south side were getting married. And much to the bride's dismay, the groom decided to make a grand entrance. Here I am! Rule number three. Nobody cares about the groom. They've only come to see the bride. So he's finally taking a plunge, huh? to St. Alfred's. I'm okay. I'm fine. Just hang on. I promise we'll get you down. You're almost there. It's okay. Okay. Just try to relax. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. Where are you going on your honeymoon? Uh, Tahiti. Okay, I want you to close your eyes and pretend that you're already there, okay? Picture the white sand beaches, the crystal clear water, that Mai Tai in your hand. Uh, I don't like fruity drinks. Fine, it's a beer. And don't forget to put on some sunscreen. The sun's really hot. You're doing good. Keep relaxing. What's he doing? Applying sunscreen. I have him visualizing his honeymoon to stay calm. Uh, where exactly does he think that he is? Tahiti. So... Tahiti, that's nice. You ever been there? No, but it's on my list. Your list? Uh-huh. Of places I want to travel to. Huh. I didn't realize people actually made lists for that sort of thing. Oh, I have a list for everything. It helps me keep things under uh, control. Uh, now, where's the fun in that? <laughs> Okay. I'm about to die. No, no, no. I'm not going to let that happen, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Come here. Whoa. Relax. There we go. Oh. I got you. I got you. So you think twice before doing this next time, huh? Nice job, Nikki. You know, I would have gone up there myself. I just need lunch. Yeah, right. You're always the last one in, little brother. First one out, Jay. Hi. Hi. Thank uh, you so much. No, no, thank you. I was gonna say, you, you, were, you were great up there. Oh, I was just doing my job. <laughs> I'm Lauren. I'm the wedding planner. <laughs> Nick, the fireman. Oh. <laughs> what the hell were you thinking? Come on, you're such an idiot. I guess yeah. I better go. <laughs> Duty calls. Yeah, me too. Okay. So, uh, see you around. Yeah, I hope so. Bye. Bye. Oh, did I tell you I saw Brad's mother the other day at Dominic's? We were saying what a shame it was that the two of you had split up. She still has fond feelings for you, you know, Lauren. Too bad her son doesn't. You know, it isn't too late to reconsider this whole divorce thing. Mom, I already signed the papers. Well, perhaps you were a bit hasty, dear. Marriage isn't a vacation, you know. It takes a lot of hard work to keep things together. Isn't that right, dear? Oh, yes, dear. I just don't understand. You two seemed like the perfect couple. We just grew apart. Well, that's cause for counseling, dear, not divorce. Marriage isn't something that you can take back, like a sweater that doesn't fit. You may wonder why my mother is so anxious for me to reconcile with an adulterer. 
Well, for starters, she doesn't know he is one. I didn't have the guts to tell her. I mean, look at her. She's the epitome of the perfect wife. I was afraid to disappoint her. I just want you to be happy. I know, Mom, but I don't need a man to be happy. Couldn't you just consider giving Brad a second chance? Hello? Anybody home? Oh, my God. You didn't. Trust me, it's for your own good. Hello, Brad. Hey. Mwah, so good to see you. Nice to see you. You too, Hank. Brad? Can't wait to taste that famous chili of yours. Mm. Oh, look, Lauren. He brought you truffles. I know they're your favorite. <laughs> no, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Honey, no one can polish off a box of chocolates like you can. Right? Right. Well, did you bring the divorce papers, too? You're three weeks late in signing. Could I talk to you outside for a minute, please? Yeah. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Your, your mom invited me over. Okay, fine. You want me to be honest? That'd be first. Ha ha. Look, the divorce papers really scared me. You know, the whole finality of the situation. <laughs> I think you made things pretty final when you slept with our manicure. Shh. Want your mom to hear? She's right there. What do you want, Brad? I just want a little more time. Why? I'm not changing my mind. I know. I just need to get used to the idea. That's all. Honey, we used to be so good together. Back in college, maybe, when I was young and stupid. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. Honey, trust me. No one knows you better than I do. Brad. Could you help me open this bottle of wine, please? Sure thing, Mom. I'm so happy you understand. Hey. So when do you let me set you up with someone? Why do married people always feel the need to convert the single to misery loves company? Very funny. What about my cousin Barry? He's cute. He's allergic to sunlight. Okay, bad choice. He's sweet. He's gay. Well, no one ever met their husband in a bar anyway. Have you tried singleandlooking.com? Oh my god, would you stop? I am not looking. This is not part of my plan. What plan? I need to focus all of my energy on getting that promotion. Oh, please. That's just an excuse to keep yourself unavailable. It is not. As a matter of fact, I met someone at the wedding today. Hello. Dish. Immediately. A fireman. I love firemen. Why are they always so hot? Oh, God. I think it's that uniform. Was he a total himbo? No. Actually, he was so sweet and funny and the most beautiful smile I've ever seen. Oh, he sounds amazing. I know. It's exactly what I'm looking for. If you were actually looking. I know. Great. Brad? Worse. Barbara the Bridezilla. I'll be right back. <laughs> Good luck. Hello? Barbara, you don't need to order your invitations this week. No, your wedding isn't for three years. Oh, oh God. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Oh. Hey. Hey, Nick. Hey, Lauren, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I've been thinking about you all day. You have? Yeah, about your whole list thing. Oh. <laughs> you remembered? Yes. Um, so uh, what about my list? Well, you, you, you said that you made a list for everything, right? Yeah. Even for the things that you're looking for in a guy? Yeah. And you know what? It's very long. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure that is. So would uh, tall, dark, semi-charming, goofy firefighter type be anywhere on that Thanks, list? Darling, <laughs> catch my drink. Oh. Darla. <gasps> Laura. Hey. Uh, it's Lauren, actually. Oh, of course. Right. I'm sorry. That's OK. <laughs> How do you two know each other? Um, Actually, we just met today. Yeah. That nice. Well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to my friend. Why are you doing us? Well, I promise you would dance with me. Come on. <laughs> That's okay. It was nice seeing you both. Yeah, you, you too. Wow. 
Where have you been? You are never gonna believe this. What? The fireman of my dreams is marrying the client of my nightmares. <laughs> oh. Can we go? Yes. There it was, James Nicholas Carina. I understood immediately why Nick preferred his middle name to his first. James was way too uptight for a handsome and free-spirited guy like Nick. Uh, but what does it matter? Rule number four, never get involved with the groom. Find out if he can fly in from Paris to do my hair. If so, you're gonna have to buy a ticket for his boot. Oh, before I forget, book me a session in that hyperbaric oxygen chamber, would you? Rule number five, beware of the psycho bride. The psycho bride is someone who's completely lost touch with reality. Case in point, Darla. Bonjour, Jacques. I'm calling from Madame T's office. I need to talk cut and color to you play. What do you think? It's stunning. You look like a queen. Queen Mary, maybe. This skirt makes me look like a ship. Oui, oui, ça c'est terrible. Next. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for you to see this one. It's just so you know, I'm not paid to think, just to agree. Trust me, I understand. Oh, honey, the only time I ever hear the word equal is when she wants to in her latte. Here, doll, you look like you could use this. Thanks. Sure. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. Way too J-Lo. Oh, Which wedding? Who cares? We know how they all turn out. It's okay, okay. This isn't working. Try again. This is nice. Look at her. It's pretty. Oh, very young, very flirty. Yeah, this is the one. No. No. Number six is an addendum to rule number five. The only thing worse than the psycho bride is the indecisive bride. No. It's nice. Doesn't feel right. No, no. Okay. No. Oh my God, that's the one. It's absolutely gorgeous. Lauren? I hated it. Not because she didn't look beautiful, but because it was like the dress I wore at my wedding. I wanted to cry. But since I'm a professional, I did the next best thing. I lied. The dress simply doesn't do you justice. <sighs> well, I think we have to have something custom made then. After a miserable day with Darla, I was looking forward to the surprise Bonnie said she had in store for me. Why didn't you tell me it was the fireman's ball? Because I knew you wouldn't come. You're right. Nick is engaged. So? If he's indicative of the firefighter species, there are bound to be others. I just don't want to run into him. You won't. There are so many people here. What are the odds? Nick. Bonnie. Very nice to meet Pleasure. you. So are you on your own tonight? Uh, yes, I am. Ah? <laughs> Me too. Mm. I love that flower in your hair, the lily. It's oh, beautiful. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's my favorite flower. I have to remember that. Mm. So, uh, how do you know Nikki? Oh, we uh, we met at a wedding. Lauren's a wedding planner. Oh, and what exactly does a wedding planner do? Oh, <laughs> I don't want to bore anyone. 
Oh, you won't bore anyone. Uh, tell them about Mr. Uh, Cibriani. Oh, the dangling groom. Yeah. <laughs> this guy thought that it would be a good idea to repel his way to the altar. <laughs> yeah, well, his bride didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, she smacked him. I know. She wanted to call the whole thing off. You're kidding me. No. Until I told her she'd have to return the presents. <laughs> That all sounds so stressful. No, please, it's not like, you know, saving people's lives. Well, lives aren't worth saving without good relationships and celebrations. <laughs> well said. We'll drink to that. Cheers. 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 I couldn't believe it. My ex-husband couldn't tell people what I did for a living without a patronizing laugh. And here was a man who not only approved, but actually understood. There was only one tiny little problem. He was about to marry someone else. That man is seriously into you. No, he isn't. It's a classic case of groom panic syndrome. It's when engaged men freak out over the fact that they'll only be with one woman for the rest of their lives. Trust me, Nick would find even a lamppost attractive right now. I doubt that. Oh, no. I have to go save Robert from the fire chief's wife. <laughs> OK, go ahead. Woo-hoo-hoo! What are you doing? Hey! <laughs> what, you don't like my uh, dancing? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't really want to dance, but thank oh, you. Oh, come on, I'm a virtual friend of stairs. Hey, Jay. I think maybe it's time you go home, bro. Oh, come on, don't start with the good brother routine of working here. H how about the sober brother routine? Oh, fine. The open bar is closed anyway. <laughs> Hasta la vista. Sorry. I can't believe he's your brother. He's actually a really good guy. He just gets out of control sometimes. He's a little stressed right now. Well, I'm sorry. You're not bad at this. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. My mom taught me a thing yeah. or two. She told me that a woman doesn't want a man with two left feet. I think she was talking about my dad. Well, your mom's a very wise woman. She was. She passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 don't be. It was a long time ago. And it might help explain why Jay and I are so different. Since she wasn't around when he was growing up, he doesn't really understand women. Although I'm not really sure that I do either. <laughs> Yeah, well, we are complex creatures. Yeah. I have to go. Uh, wait, what if I have to get in touch with you? If I have a question about the wedding? Darla has my number. Well, why don't we just cut out the middleman and let me take you to lunch tomorrow? I can't. I have a huge wedding at Shadow Peak. All right, well, then I'll see you there. You don't take no for an answer, do you? No. This is so wrong. After a confusing evening, I was so grateful for the distraction of work. But unfortunately, that included babysitting my boss's dog, Snickers. Determined to keep everything on track, I focused on my usual routine. Right. Yeah. Man of the cloth. Check. 
Musicians, check. Flowers, check. Hello. Barbara, if you buy your gown now, it's gonna be out of style by the time you get married. Oh, hold on a sec. Hello? Lauren, we can't find the boutonnieres for the groomsmen. Right next to the sign-in book. Barbara, I have to go. Let's hold out for that Vera Wing sample sale that I told you about. Okay, bye. <laughs> What's wrong? My dress is ruined! Oh! What happened? The dog did it! It's okay, okay? No. Snickers! Okay. Don't panic. Oh, oh. oh sorry. What's the hurry? Oh, I have to catch that dog. Ah. Snicker, come. <gasps> oh, there we go, there we go. All right, you go inside, I'll go the other. Is this your dog? No, it's my boss's. Well, she might want to consider putting him on Doggy Pros <laughs> She can just loan him some of hers. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's gone. Oh, there he is. You go right, I'll go left. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, wait. I got an idea, I got an idea. Thank you. Hey, Poochie Poochie, here you go. Snickers. Snickers? Yeah, it's his name, don't it? Here, Snickers, would you like a little kiss? Oh. Okay, so I thank you. Yes. Oh. Okie dokie. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> now we firemen, we rescue so many kitties, so few doggies. Oh. All right, now if you'll excuse me, I have to go work miracles. Pretty darn good team together, don't you? You know what? I think these interactions between us are a little inappropriate. Yeah, I agree. You do? Yeah. I think we should be having these interactions over dinner. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Oh. Well, how about it? I think it would be best to only talk about wedding-related things. Okay. Good. Darla told me that you still haven't found a place for reception yet. Mm -hmm. I, I have a great place in mind. Come on, how much more wedding related can it get? I'll think about it. Geez, when you said you had the perfect spot, I didn't think I'd have to change into hiking boots to get there. <laughs> Bear with me, we're almost there. Aw, it's pretty. I love it here. I'll come here weekends to decompress. I vacuum to decompress. Uh, that's, uh, that's interesting. What do you do for uh, excitement? I find organizing my closets good. <laughs> mm. Where are you taking me? You'll see. Don't worry, I'm not an ax murderer or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, like you'd tell me if you were. <laughs> Your purse is chirping. Yeah, I know. You know, the park district has a very, very strict policy on wildlife and captivity. Uh, it's my walkie-talkie. Oh. Sorry. Hello? Hey, Lauren, some woman named Barbara showed up at the reception looking for you. Uh, tell her to have a piece of cake and I'll call her as soon as I can. Thanks. Never a dull moment, huh? Nope. There it is. Wow. A fairground. Trust me. <laughs> right. I'm going to trust a guy who's engaged to my client. <laughs> I'll just keep smiling politely. We used to come here all the time as kids. I thought it would be a, 
a great place for reception. It's, it's great, but um, I don't think this is what Darla had in mind. Oh. Besides, we'd have to rent tents and bring in caterers and think of all the mosquito repellent we'd have to buy. Okay, so, uh, so it's a bad idea. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. It's a thought that counts. <laughs> all right, so here's another thought. How about we go take a ride on that carousel before we head back? Come on, I'll make sure you get paid time and a half. Just a carousel ride. <laughs> you know, the uh, merry-go-round was my favorite ride as a little girl. I was more of a, a tilt-the-world kind of guy. <laughs> Look, Lauren, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I didn't ask you all the way out here just to talk about the wedding. I really... talk about when, when the ride's over I'd, I'd like to talk about you and me I knew there could be no you and me involving Darla's fiance oh, but when Nick said those three little words they sounded really good I was getting in deeper and deeper and I had to put a stop to it uh, you know what uh, I have to go Wait, uh, right now uh-huh don't you at least want to wait till the ride stops I'm gonna get just get up right here. Wait, wait, oh, 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 oh. oh. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Looks like he twisted up pretty bad. Let's get you to a hospital. No, I'm, I'm fine. No, I think, oh, oh, see? Oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh. No, okay, okay. Like I said. No, I'm fine, I no, swear. We're gonna have to get you to the hospital, okay? I don't need to go to the hospital. I do this for a living, okay? Two hours in the emergency room and two Percocet later, I was feeling no pain. Shh. <laughs> you must be quiet, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Do you live alone? Yeah. No, no, I mean, yes, but my sister's staying with me. She and her boyfriend broke up or I don't know. <laughs> uh, we, hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't think she's here. And I don't really want to leave you by yourself. Okay. It took a lot of pain medication. I'm fine, really. Yeah. Except, you know what's really funny and weird? I can barely focus. My God, you're cute, Blurry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I had so much fun today, though. <laughs> Not the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> but the park was fun. I loved the rowboats and that carousel. Was <laughs> <running till I'm laughs> <off. laughs> yeah, that that wasn't. Uh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, hmm. I like you, Nick. I do. I know I shouldn't, but. I do. I've never met anybody who made a to-do list in their sleep before. Yeah, my sister's kind of freaky like that. I think it's pretty cute. Morning, patient. How's the ankle? Ah, uh, better. W what is going on in my kitchen? Uh, your sister caught me into making breakfast. Uh, you should try Nick's pancakes. They're better than mom's. Okay. You should sit. I am making you food. 
Well, yeah, thanks for the grub, but uh, I got a motor to make it to class. Bye. Bye. So how are you feeling? Uh, confused. Oh, well, I, I didn't want to leave you here by yourself last night. Yeah, you know, you're you're pretty out of it. Where was Lily? She was out clubbing until 5 a.m. this morning. You know, you and your sister, you're very different. Yeah, that's putting it lightly. Your juice. I just squeezed it fresh. Okay, this is too much. I, I appreciate everything, but... The juice, the staying over? I just don't want you to think that this all means anything. But you're gonna tell me now that you don't date your clients? Of course I don't date my clients. Okay, well, you know, that settles it for me. I'm out of the wedding. You can't! Oh my God, and this dish, by the way, oh. needs to soak, and this kitchen is a mess. Okay. I just don't want you to hurt yourself again. <sighs> don't do it. What, the dishes? No, the wedding. So now you don't want me in the wedding? No, I do want you in the wedding. All right. I have to go to work, so let's let's discuss this over dinner. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, great. Meet me at the station about six. Are you kidding me? I never joke about food. Try your breakfast and you'll see. <sighs> Where have you been? It's practically lunch. It's 10.30, and I'm late because I sprained my ankle. Lauren, dear. I can't have you handicapped for one of the most important weddings of my career. No matter now. Darla's waiting for you in my office. She says it's important and she only wants to speak to you. Did she say what it was about? The wedding, of course. Now hurry up! Listen, Darla, I can explain. I. I am so sorry. I, I don't know what to say. Well, you don't have to say anything. I feel so awful. You have no idea. You don't. It's not your fault. It's not? Of course not. How can you be late to an appointment I never made? Well, then why are you crying? <sighs> My fiancé and I had a fight the other night. It was so bad he even threatened to call off the whole wedding. What was your fight about? The guest list. Ugh, silly, really. That's why I know you can help us work things out. Of course. I hope you don't mind. I told him he could meet me here. You did? Yes, I just know if there's a practical person present, he'll listen to reason. Wait. Uh, excuse me one minute, okay? Thanks. I'll be right back. Oh, hi. Uh, Lauren, right? Uh, yeah. Listen, I'm really sorry about the other oh, night. Don't even worry about it. No, really. Um, you know what? I can't talk right now. I'm dealing with a client. Yeah, Darla said you wanted to talk to us about the guest list. I thought that was between the bride and groom. It is. Then is Nick coming? Not that I know of. Sweetie. Hi. So are we still waiting on the groom? That's me. What do you think? Jay is James, the groom. But I thought that, um, isn't Nick the, uh... Best man. Of course he is. <laughs> ah. Now let's go work on that guest list. Rule number seven. Everything that can go wrong can go right, too. Nick wasn't engaged after all. No more confusion, no more guilt. The road was finally clear. I'm gonna show you guys how to come down the fire pole. How's your ankle? Better, thank you. Good. <laughs> hey, all right, enough, enough. Hey, I have to hang around till their parents get here. You mind hanging out with us for a little while? No, not at all. I can, I promise you. It'll be worth the wait. In the meantime, who wants to play tag? You're it. Ah! Oh! <laughs> 
This is worth the wait. All right, humor me for a second. <laughs> yeah, well, the last time I humored you, I ended up with a sprained ankle. Ooh, watch your step. Watch your step. <laughs> Thank you. Can you tell I'm not a huge fan of surprises? <laughs> yeah. But why not? Surprises can be the nicest part of life. Mm, speak for yourself. <gasps> wow. This is amazing. You think? Ugh. I discovered this place putting out a fire in this building. I came up here to get some air, and I just, I just couldn't believe how beautiful it was. It's gorgeous. So, you ready to eat? I, I don't want to leave yet. No. Oh. Okay. In that case, we don't have to. Uh. I hope you don't mind dining al fresco. For a guy who doesn't like to plan ahead, this certainly required a lot of forethought. I bet you even had to make a list. <laughs> yes, I did. But it was definitely worth it. Glass of wine? I would love one. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. To surprises. I can't believe how beautiful this is. Yeah. You know, I'm really glad you came tonight. I'm starting to think you weren't interested at all. <laughs> uh, well, actually, there's a reason why I've been so standoffish. I thought you and Darla were together. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's not that crazy. Darla and I did go out. You were a couple? No, no. We had two dates. It was nothing. It was just really weird seeing you together at the bar. She was hanging all over you. Tom is just a big flirt, OK? And we were not together, believe me. Jay was supposed to meet us, but he got stuck at work. But Lauren, I, I don't play games. I'm a very straight up guy. Honesty is very important to me. And Darla? Mm -hmm. She's just not my type. What is your type? Huh? All right. Starting with the basics. Female. <laughs> <laughs> Non-smoker. Uh -huh. Preferably no prison record. Mm -hmm. Unmarried. No, you don't want to deal with those pesky husbands. Uh, intelligent. Sensitive. Slightly obsessive compulsive. Incredibly beautiful. You know. Someone like you. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you gonna run away if I try to kiss you again? You know, you never told me what your type was. Well, I'm looking for someone who's smart, funny. Trustworthy. Would you settle for me instead? Hmm? I am talking about you.
Stop right there. I'm making a citizen's arrest and ordering you back to bed. Oh, I'm late for work. I'll write you a note. <laughs> My clothes are the enemy. Oh, do you mind if I pick that up? I just had it dry clean. Look, at Shea Karina, we leave our baggage at the door. Yeah, and apparently everything else on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> can you handle that? I can try. Okay. I think I have something that might help you. I meant to give this to you last night, but I forgot. <clears throat> a rock? <laughs> <laughs> When a girl got a rock, it was in the form of a ring. <laughs> yeah, that's not a rock, that's a stone. That's a, a worry stone. Whenever you feel really stressed, you just rub your worries away. Thank you. You're welcome. That's so sweet. I'll stay for a few more minutes. Okay. to Atlanta wedding convention. Please take King Snickers to doggy daycare. Great. I'm Linda Tadansky, Darla's oh. mother. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. Likewise. <laughs> oh, what an adorable little dog. <laughs> oh, he's a real charmer. Hello. Oh, I'll set him out here. And we'll go in there and talk. Yeah. <laughs> Please, come on in. Oh, have a seat. Please, excuse me. Uh, that chair is actually a little more comfortable. Thank you. Yes, that's better. OK. So, about the seating chart. You told me that your mother wanted to sit with her bingo friends, and I actually have them all sitting together at table 20. Is everything OK, Mrs. Tadansky? Actually, no. I'm not even sure it's appropriate to tell you this, but troubleshooting is what we pay you for. Right. Let me first say that Darla is a wonderful girl. Oh, yes, uh, uh, of course. <laughs> she just always had a bit of a wild streak, but I thought since she got engaged, I saw one of the groomsmen at my daughter's yesterday. Oh, Mrs. Tadansky, there's nothing unusual about that. Naked with Darla? Were, were, were they, um... Do you, uh, by chance know which groomsman it was? I only saw the back of his head. But I think it was his brother. Nick? Yes. The one she used to date. Uh, but that's impossible. With Darla, anything's possible. So you think that Darla and Nick are... Are having an affair, I'm afraid so. I just don't know what to do. Neither do I. 
I told Bonnie it was an emergency and she had to meet me at the bar. And even though it was happy hour, there was nothing happy about it. It makes sense, right? I decide to trust men again and look what happens. I'm such an idiot. No, you're not. Can I buy you a drink? Why? So you can lull me into a false sense of security and break my heart? No thanks. Never mind. <sighs> Too harsh. Just a little. I mean, in Nick's defense, Mrs. Tadansky said she only saw the back of his head. Well, she said it was the brother. How many brothers does he have? One, I think. Look, I don't want to jump to conclusions. I just don't want you to fall for another Brad. Trust me, Nick is definitely not Brad. Or maybe he is. I mean, he said he wasn't like his brother, but who knows? I don't know what to believe. Well, what does Nick have to say? I don't know. I've been avoiding his calls. Maybe you should give him a chance to explain. I'm tired of second chances. Hello? Is anybody there? I'm in here. Hi, Lauren. Oh, hi, Darla. I was just working on your table for the reception. What do you think? It's fine. Um, well, because if you don't like it, I mean, okay, I look, could... Forget about the table. I want to get married sooner. How much sooner? This Saturday. Why can't you wait the extra two weeks? Because I just can't. <laughs> Listen, Darla. If I'm gonna go through the huge inconvenience of moving up your wedding, I need a better reason than you just can't. I'm pregnant. Well, I'm sure Jay will make a great dad. <clears throat> it isn't his. Ex excuse me? I said the baby isn't his. Whose is it? Darla, whose is it? It's his brother's. What the hell is wrong with you? You've got everything, and you're throwing it all away? You think that just because you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth gives you the right to treat people the way you do? Well, I've got news for you. Being privileged doesn't make you entitled. Are you finished yet? No, I am not finished, because I haven't answered your question. No, Darla, I will not move up your wedding. Because frankly, I think this is part of your latest scheme. So fire me. Actually, tell G to fire me, but I won't do it. You're gonna have to find some other way out of this mess. And I suggest that you start being honest with the people that care about you, because they don't deserve this. Now I'm finished. You'll be sorry you said that. You let go of that. Even though I probably ruined my chances of getting that promotion, telling off Darla was the first time I ever stood up for myself, and it felt great. Ugh, what are you doing here? We need to talk. I don't want to talk to you about anything. Brad! So my therapist thinks we should get back together. Oh. He, he says that I'm not going to grow as a me. I need to be a we. Ah, there is no we. There never was. It was only you. That's not true. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. God, Lauren, you're, you're being really harsh. Oh, I'm being harsh? You cheated on me. What is it with you guys? Is it so hard to stay faithful to one woman? Actually, my therapist says that it's not within our genetic makeup. Do you have any idea how much you hurt me? How you destroyed any hopes I had of our life together? Do you? Well, I said I was sorry. Sorry isn't good enough. Sign. Oh, Lauren, you don't want me to sign this? Yes, I do. No, you don't. Shut the hell up, Brad. 
For once, I'm going to have the last word. Sign. Okay. But your mom is going to be really pissed. I'll take my chances. You know the way out. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Lauren's husband. Uh, can I, can I talk to her for a minute? Oh, sorry. She's in the bath. Um, why don't you give me your name and I'll tell you to stop by. No, no, uh, sorry. Thanks. As I arrived at work the next morning, the buzz I had from my self-empowerment binge quickly wore off. G was back in the office, and I was certain I'd be fired. Lauren, in here now. What the hell happened while I was gone? G, listen, I can explain. My I... chair is ruined. You mean this isn't about Darla? Not unless she's the one who peed on it. Uh, of course not. Um, Snickers had an accident when you were gone, but it's only because he missed you. Oh, there's my precious baby. Come to mommy, Snickers. Go to your mama, Snickers. Come on, Snickers. Go to your mama. He's just trying to make you jealous. Yes. Hmm. So what were you saying about Darla? Well, I, I, I was wondering if you spoke to her. No, but I spoke to her mother, and she said to compliment you on handling a very delicate situation. She said that? And that we're moving the wedding up to this Saturday. They're still going through with it? Well, why wouldn't they? Gee, I, I don't think this is something I can really oh, do. please. You need to overnight these. So I'm not fired? Of course not. I told you, if you pull this off, you'll be promoted. My migraines are back. thrilled that we pulled off Darla's wedding in two days. But all I could think about was Nick. How could I fall for someone who would sleep with his brother's fiance and then lie to me about their relationship? Despite how betrayed I felt, I knew I had to do a good job, no matter what. Wait here, wait here. Good. Karina, Jay and Nick's little brother. Nick wasn't having an affair with Darla. A wave of relief washed over me until I realized there's still something horribly wrong with this picture. <gasps> How could you? Is there a fourth or fifth brother I don't know about? Have you slept with them too? Do you honestly think you can manage till death to his part when you can't even stay faithful for a day? Don't be so provincial. And you, how could you do this to your brother? He stole my girlfriends before. Darla? Jay. <clears throat> Honey, that's not what you think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Jay, she, she can explain, really. Why don't I explain something? <laughs> Jay, <laughs> no! Hey, get off him! <laughs> Guys, come on! <laughs> get back! You okay? Yes, I need to talk to you. No, no, not now. No. Nick, I want to apologize. 
It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm not interested in being with a married lady. I know. I made a mistake about you and Darla. Darla? I'm talking about you. Huh? I met your husband last week. What? What on earth is going on here? All of you, stop it this instant. You should be ashamed of yourselves. And why are you just standing there? Why didn't you do something? I... Never mind. We have a wedding in 15 minutes. And I'll be damned if this is the first Jennifer Douglas production to get canceled. You drink this. And you finish getting dressed. You boys make sure your father doesn't hear about this. As for you, you've done enough damage, so just try to keep out of sight. You know, you'll never make it in this business if you don't learn how to take charge. Thanks to G's flask, Jay finally managed to make it to the altar. And after a few swigs myself, I managed to make it to my seat. I want to tell you that with all my organizational skills and empathy, I fixed everything. But all I did was help the groom get drunk while G convinced Darla and Jay to go through with the wedding. Marriage is a sacred institution created by God as a symbol of the union between a man and a woman. If anyone objects to this union, please speak now. I believe we'll move on to the vows, the rings. These rings are a symbol of commitment and fidelity. That's rich. James, do you take Darla to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward in sickness and in health, till death do you part. How could you cheat on me with my own brother? <clears throat> Would you like me to repeat the question, son? No, that won't be necessary, Padre. Uh, with all due respect, um, I don't take Darla to have and to hold. I changed my mind. No honor anymore. <laughs> Wait a minute, you can't break up with me because I'm breaking up with you. Whatever. Donna. No. Quiet, Mother. I have something to say. Huh. I wouldn't marry Jay Karina if he was the last man on earth. And I would have never had the courage to state my true feelings if it hadn't been for Lauren Crandall. She taught me that I need to be honest with the people who care about me. No, 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 that, that, that's not what I meant. The point is, I'm breaking up with Jay because I'm in love with his brother. Nick? No, Rick. So that's who I saw, Nick? And I'm proud to say that I'm having his baby. <laughs>
Even though Darla didn't go through with the ceremony, Lou Tadansky was going to be damned if he didn't go through with the reception. G warned me that I'd never get ahead if I didn't take charge. So, thanks to a combination of overwhelming stress and G's flask of truth serum, I decided to throw caution to the wind and speak my mind. Hey, you know what? You? I'm sorry. You should be ashamed of yourself. No, 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 I'm not finished. Um, you need to grow up and know what it means to be a man, a brother, and in seven months, a father. Now are you finished? <gasps> With you. Hey. Perfect. Wanna know what I think? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I do. I think you should have had Darla fixed when she was 15. Don't you think? <laughs> oh, my. Lord, could, could, could you excuse us, please? Sorry. <gasps> Lauren, I think, I think it's time you go home. I don't want to go home. I want to take charge. <gasps> oh, I feel dizzy. Come on, come on. Oh. Nick. Nick. This was all a misunderstanding. I was so wrong about you and Darla, and you were so wrong about me and Brad, and, and we're not really married. I mean, we are technically, but we're going through a divorce, and isn't that great news? Well, I don't think we should see each other anymore. Why not? Because you didn't trust me. Lauren Crandall. You're fired. Oh. Great. Oh, Nick's words were ringing in my head when I woke up. He turned my trust issues against me, and he was right. I should have known better. But even with a horrible hangover, I had a moment of clarity. Rule number eight. When it comes to love, there are no rules. Oh, forget it. How you feeling? Oh, let's see. I'm single, jobless, and have a killer hangover. Look, why don't you call G, ask for your job back? Because it was a blessing in disguise. I'd rather be poor and unemployed than be under G's thumb. I'll get it. I bet these will cheer you up. Oh. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah. They're for you. Lily's for my Lily. Please come home, love Banjo. Isn't he the cutest? What happened to your three-month rule? Sometimes life surprises you. Good news is, you can have your apartment back. Oh, great. Now I can add lonely to my list. <laughs> Could things get any worse? Oh. Actually, Mom called. She said you're supposed to meet her for brunch. It's 11 a.m., dear. It's more than past the time to comb one's hair. And why are you wearing those ridiculous sunglasses? Oh, Mom, please, slow down. And please lower your voice. Why, do you have a hangover? Oh, I'm begging you. Can we talk about something else? Yes. Look. Mm, yes, I'm familiar with it. Yes, but look at the cover. Junior wedding consultants, the real experts. Listen. <sighs> Today's Renaissance women, junior consultants, like Lauren Crandall. Handle everything from torn veils to dangling grooms. Did they mention G? No. She is going to have a fit. Well, I think it's wonderful. Now all you need is a man to share in your success, which reminds me, have you called Brad? Mom. Mom, 
there's something that I need to tell you. And, and please, please listen carefully, because this has taken me over a year to get the courage. What is it, dear? Um, oh, my God. Are you a lesbian? It's OK if you are, honey, as long as I can still have grandchildren. Mother, I am not a lesbian. The real reason why Brad and I broke up is because he cheated on me. What? He tried to sleep with Lily while we were married. He did not. Ask her. Oh, my God. Oh, and, and all this time, I've been pushing a cheater on my own daughter. Oh, I am so sorry. Mom, it's not your fault. You didn't know. Well, why didn't you tell me sooner? Uh, I was ashamed. I mean, you have the perfect marriage. I really didn't want to disappoint you. Oh, Lauren. Lauren, you could never disappoint me, no matter what you do. Thank you. No, thank you for being honest. This is good. Now I don't have to make polite conversation with that annoying mother of his. <laughs> Mom, I love you. I love you too, dear. <laughs> My mother's faith in me made me think about what I wanted to do next. I was missing work. There's something about being a wedding planner that, no matter how challenging, makes me happy. Rule number nine, even in a wedding with catastrophic blunders, there should always be a moment of pure, unadulterated goodwill. It's knowing that I had a hand in creating a second or two of perfect harmony that keeps me coming back. And that's when it hit me. I didn't just want to watch these happy moments. I wanted to live them. Hello? Anybody here? Well, isn't that the wedding planner from hell? Jay, I'm so sorry. I, I really wish that things turned out differently. I wish I wasn't paying for Rick to go on my honeymoon. Well, at least you found out now. Trust me, it hurts a whole lot more after you say I do. What do you want? I'm looking for Nick. He's not here. Do you know where he is? Just put out a fire in Wrigleyville. He's going to be cleaning up for a while. I can't wait that long. Jay, I, I really need to talk to him. What you doing? Well, this is an emergency, right? I'm giving you a ride. <laughs> Your brother was right. About what? You. You're not such a bad guy. My brother dropped me off. I really have to talk to you, and I'm really sorry I couldn't wait. Um, my sister told me something really wise today. 
She said, life is full of surprises. And sometimes someone really special comes along who's worth taking a risk for. And I think that, I know that, I know that you're worth taking that risk. And if you'll have me, I would really love a second chance. Can I give you a hug? No, no. How dirty I am. You probably had that thing dry clean, so it was <laughs> terrible. Oh! I know that file is here, Barbara. I've been looking for it. I know I'm going to find it, okay? Sorry it's taking so long. It's been chaos around here. Barbara, let me get back to you. Oh, Barbara. Oh, thank God. Uh, I'm just here to pick up my things. No. You can't leave. The office has gone to hell since you left. I didn't leave. You fired me. The point is, since that magazine article, everyone's been asking for you. You have to come back. I don't know. If, if not for me, then for Snickers' sake. Since you've been gone, he's been ripping the place to shreds. I hate to break it to you, G, but he has always been that way. Fine. Forget the dog. I'll give you that promotion. Pay you six figures. You can even have your own assistant. My own assistant? You can make your own hours. Anything you want. I'll accept your offer. Under one condition. You name it. That this time, I can quit. Excuse me? I am sick and tired of you treating me like an indentured servant and then taking credit for everything. This is the thanks I get for taking you under my wing? How can you do this to me? Easy. Hey, boss lady. Brought you a latte. I told you not to wait on me. In this office, you're an equal. Well, in that case, I'm voting myself a raise. <laughs> Don't push it. <gasps> Ooh, I gotta go. The wedding's at 8, right? Yep. So, plan on meeting me in an hour? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, and, uh, Mark? Yes, dear. You are planning on changing, right? Of course, darling. One mustn't upstage the bride. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. You do the final run-through, and I'll check on the bride. Ten four, little lady. Over now. How are you holding up, <sighs> sis? Great. Everything's going according to plan. Okay. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thanks. Oh, you're gonna make me ruin my makeup. Here. Old habits die hard. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I thought misery loves company. <laughs> well, I guess we better get started. You ready to do this? Ready as I'll ever be.
So what have I learned? Rule number 10, remember that true love isn't about embossed invitations or the size of your bridal party. True love is what you find when you least expect it. True love is taking the risk that it won't be a happily ever after. True love is joining hands with a man who loves you for who you are and saying, I'm not afraid to believe in you. A love like that will survive anything. Even a less than perfect wedding. We're still gonna do it.